the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you
put up public notices for Mercury, uh, Streamline Mercury variants that we need to do for our up and coming new discharge permit. Um, uh, US EPA, a few years back, had established uh, guidelines for uh, uh, mercury discharges from publicly owned wastewater treatment plants and down to parts per trillion. Uh, for the first two years, they had no instruments that were able to reach those limits, so they didn't have any reporting done. So uh, the limitations that they have set forth are probably unattainable by any wastewater treatment plant with conventional treatment. So um, the state of Indiana has provided a mechanism to alleviate reporting violations on this by a streamlined variance program in the next five years. Uh, so we had public notice uh, both uh, the Times and uh, the Gary Post Tribune. Also there's notice at City Hall and both post offices and uh, both libraries in the city. So it's been, it was put in the papers on 1022 and we we're uh, going to be receiving uh, after 30 day notice any, any questions or comments on it. And move on to the uh, state regulatory agencies to see what they're doing with our application. This is the application. It's about 45 pages long. There's also some things that we'll have to do in there through the years as far as monitoring and trying to educate, going out to places like uh, dentists' offices where they use mercury and some of the fillings and different uh, automotive garages and things as such. We've done most of that already. We have to do inventories here like on our thermostats, therm thermometers that we use and things to eliminate any type of mercury problems. So we're on our way with that. We shouldn't have any problems with that. So I'll keep you abreast on what happens with that. Uh, that's all I have at this point. If anybody has any questions, I'd be really glad to entertain. Mr. Lee. So we are in compliance with the federal guidelines? Uh, we, yeah, we, we've had some violations with cyanide and the cyanide violations go back to one of our industries that we are trying to work with on to reduce their discharge to us. Again, those are in parts per billion, so uh, they're very minute parts, but we have those on our discharge permit. Also, our discharge permit is under review for renewal. It expired September 30th, and uh, we've been working on that for the last three or four months. I'm sure they'll be waiting for the mercury variance material to come in and a few other things before they give us a final discharge permit. We're hoping that we maintain what we have now and not have to do much more than what we need to. It's because bur burden to the district, because some of the things that they're asking us to do is very expensive testing that I've done. So we're hoping to either have a longer period of time in between testing or elimination of some things. But I will let you know as time goes on with this. Well, we square the thing, Mr. President, Mayor. Mr. Brown, you said uh, we, we keep receiving uh, these violations for effluent cyanide. You said you don't know where the origin is. Uh, this is just we, something that we've addressed here in the past. Yeah, that, right? we know where it's at. One of the companies that we're dealing with is having some difficulties with their treatment process on them. And as I said, these are down to parts per billion, which uh, that's a very minute amount of material. Um, as far as public health or safety or anything, the aquatic environment here is not a problem. but. So is this not something our department can We are control? working on that and through our industrial yeah. treatment department also. Uh, we are in the process of asking them to, they've contacted an outside uh, engineering firm to do work for them on improving their process and we have also, we have a mechanism also where we can find them. So how are these recurring violations affecting us here at the department or in the city? Is are we receiving any fines or we? We, we are, no. Was along the same lines as Commissioner Lay said about uh, keeping things in compliance. With well, we have to, you know, we have to, we have, like I said, the mechanism. We, we test our industries on a random basis twice per month, so we go out and sample. This particular industry also does the daily operations on there, so we know where they're at. And we had some meetings with them, and they were, they've been publicly noticed in the newspapers also for their violations to us, and we have to report that through a different mechanism of uh, industrial monitoring to the federal government also. So aware of it also. Okay. Well, thank you for keeping us abreast of that. Okay, Pete, thank you. Any other? No other questions? No, sir. No, sir. <coughs> okay. Thank you, Pete. Then we'll go to uh, Mansi. You have anything for us today? I have nothing to report at this time. No, no report from Mansi. Okay. 
Anything from Mr. Allegretti, the attorney? Nothing from Mr. Allegretti. Anything from uh, financial consultant, Bill Biller? No, sir. Okay, thank you. So, then we can uh, go down to next available resolution. Excuse me, Mr. President. We have to, what? Are we going to discuss anything from the uh, COO, or is that something you would discuss, Mr. Barane, or? I don't have anything at this point, uh, except with the water board meeting that we had earlier that uh, we're moving along with the information of the treatment of the facilities um, in the infiltration plant. It was reported there about 63% completed at this point, so they're moving forward on that. As far as the district goes at this point, I know we don't, I don't have anything else at this point to discuss. Mr. President, may I? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So uh, from here on, just for, for the record here, you are going to be um, given the report on the utility division? Yes. In general? Yes. Okay. So you'll be given both reports? For I know right. this is our yep. first meeting yep. with right you now, being yes. in the, at, the, at the charge here in the house. And uh, I just was wondering how that was going to work. For right now, yes. Yeah. So you'll be doing your, your part for the manager, and then uh, you'll be doing the utilities yes. division matters as well. Yes. Okay. Well, welcome aboard. Yeah. Thank you. Twice the fun. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right. Yes, the question I was going to ask. Oh, okay. Vince, well, I thought we discussed that last meeting. Um, no, we had we had a reconvening, so this is actually our first meeting. Uh, Mr. Uh, Barad and I is in charge of the utility division now. Uh, all right. So then we'll go down to uh, any new business for today. I suppose we already covered that. Any unfinished business? Any public comment? No comment? Nobody has comment? Next meeting is two weeks from today, November 18th, 2.10 at the noontime, same place. So then we'll just need a motion for an adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, motion passes, meetings adjourned. <laughs>